Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today we are going to be working on the HTML for this website that we just sliced up and got the images ready. Um, here is just a simple document or a CODA site and all it has is an index.html, a CSS folder with styles.css inside of it, and then an image folder with all of the images that we sliced up already. So to start off, I just use a simple uh, HTML5, I believe it is, for doc type, and didn't have to specify which, uh, you know, strict 1.0 or whatever you have to do normally. And then I link the style sheet, and then I got this reset. I can't remember the name of this one. I just, I just found it, and I have decided to use it. So if you want to use it, you can just copy this right here. I'll probably put that into the description underneath the video if I remember. So let's go ahead and get started. The first part that we want to do is create this navigation background and the text inside of it. And we're going to make this separate from a page wrap or anything because we want it to expand with the width of the browser. Same with this blue background here as well. So to start off we are going to create a UL. So just do UL with the ID of navigation and inside of this is going to hold all of our list items and the list items are the links and also the the logo right here alright so let's uh, do li class equals logo so we're going to start off with that logo then inside of there we're going to make an anchor with an href of this is going to be the home page so index.html and then alt equals, I guess, Steven's Space Station. Good enough. All right, so we're going to close that off and close off the anchor, and we're not going to put any text inside of that. So it's good enough for the logo. And for this tutorial, I decided to just work on the HTML first, and then we'll work on the styling. Uh, it, it's probably easier and more entertaining to do it that way than to do a little bit of the code, then style that little bit. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so now that we have that, which is the logo, we're going to want to create these uh, navigation text. So we're going to do that by making another ally uh, with no class name, A, and then href is going to be equal, and we're just going to do a pound sign for now, just so it links to nothing. And the first one is home. Let's copy this and paste it whatever times we'll delete what we don't need pricing about us our story uh, blog and contact contact us sorry and then let's straighten this up a little bit and perfect okay so let's uh, add a little bit of a uh, comment here so we know where the navigation UL ends and then let's see if we need anything else yes we need a background around this because right now this is just the, the items right here and we want a background that stretches depending on the width of our web browser so to do that we're going to have to give it a background so let's do div with the ID of navigation BG cut that paste it here and then again do a comment so we can know that this is where the background ends so navigation BG ends perfect let's straighten this up a little bit looks good so now well maybe I should do this styling for this just or just a quick thing so you can see what I'm saying so let's just come over to style and let's go to navigation BG and for this we're going to say let's just give it a background of blue and then width is going to be 100% and let's just give it a sample height of 50 pixels just so we can see what I'm talking about and then we're going to do 
for UL navigation. Let's just give it a sample width of 940 pixels and margin zero auto. That way it's centered within the browser. So let me uh, let me pop open Firefox and drag this in. As you can see, the background stretches, but yet the text stays in the center. And it's just, it's ugly right now because we haven't stylized it at all. So that's just what we're working with right now. All right, so now that we have that, we can move on a little bit to the banner background, which is this right here. So let's do that by creating a div with the ID of banner background, simple enough. And then inside of that, we're going to want a banner wrapper, which is going to contain all the content within this banner because, once again, this blue background is going to stretch, but the inside is going to remain fixed in the center. So for banner background, we're going to leave that. We're going to add a comment here that says banner BG ends. And then we're going to separate this into two different parts, one for the content and then one for this logo here. Okay. So for in here, we're going to want to create a div with ID of banner content, just naming this very simple so we know where everything is and what it does. So again, let's give it a comment of banner content ends. And then inside of here, we're going to do h1 tag, and this is going to be the title. And the title will just put sample header. And then underneath that, we're going to do a p tag, a paragraph tag. And let's just put some lipsum text inside of there. All right. And let's just trim it off a bit. Let's see. That's probably good enough. And then, now that we have that, we're going to want to create a section for those buttons. So these two buttons here. And that's just going to be a simple UI and LI, just like we did with the navigation bar. So below the P, we're going to do UL again. And the ID is going to be blue buttons. You can name this whatever you want. And inside of this, we're going to have an LI with an anchor and the ID of left button. And then the class is going to be button because both of these buttons are the same size and are going to pretty much have the same uh, styling for it except for the background. We're going to give it the same class so that we can just give them both the same class and not have to give each individual width and height and all that. You'll see what I'm talking about once we do this styling for this. So the class of button, href, it's going to link to pound. And then let's close that off. And we're going to leave it just like that. So copy this, paste it, and all we're going to change right here is right button. And go ahead and save that. And if you want, we can preview this and it looks pretty horrible, but that doesn't matter. All right, so now that we have that, um, Let's just create the quick uh, div for the banner image, which is this right here. So we're going to do that by going underneath this banner content. We're going to do div with the ID of banner image. And that's all we're going to do, I believe. Yes. That's all we're going to do for this. And in the next section, maybe I'll stylize the top portion so you can see what this is looking like so you're not in the dark the whole, the whole tutorial. So thanks for watching and be sure to check out the next part.